क्लास नाइन चैप्टर सेवन ट्राइंगल एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन गिविंग क्वारिलेचुअल ए सी डी डी ए सी इज इक्वल टू ए डी साइड ए सी इज इक्वल टू ए डी दिस इज गिविन ए बी बाइसेक्स एंगल ए विच मीन This angle A C A B is equal to angle D A B. A B bisects angle A. This is also given. So if A B bisects angle A, then Name this angle as one and this angle as two. So angle one is equal to angle two. Show that we need to show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. And what can you say about BC and BD? Now in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC and triangle ABD, this angle one is equal to angle two. AC is equal to AD, and this side AB is common. So by side angle sides, triangle ABC and triangle ABD is congruent. First, AC is equal to AD. This is given. Angle one is equal to angle two. This is also given. AB is equal to AB. Common in both the triangles. So triangle ABC. Is congruent to triangle ABD by side angle side congruence rule and by CPCT and by CPCT BC is equal to BD. By CPCT, as triangles are congruent, so their cor corresponding parts will be equal. Now, question number two: ABCD is a given quadrilateral in which AD is equal to BC. AD is equal to BC. This is given. Angle DAB. This whole angle. Angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. This whole angle. Prove that. First part is triangle ABD congruent to triangle BAC. Now, in triangle ABD and triangle BAC. AD is equal to BC. This is given. AD is equal to BC. This is given. Angle DAB 
is equals to angle C B A. This is also given. And side A B is e is common in both the triangles. So A B is equals to B A is common. So triangle A B D is congruent to triangle B A C by side angle side congruent rule. Now second part. Prove that BD is equal to AC. Now by CPCT, as triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC, proved in first part. So BD is equal to AC by CPCT, as triangles are congruent. Then their corresponding parts are equal. Third part: prove that angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. Angle ABD, this angle, is equal to angle BAC, this angle. As triangles are congruent, as triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC from first, so angle ABD is also equal to angle BAC by CPCT. Question number four: L and M are two parallel lines. L is parallel to M. This is given. Intersecting by another pair of parallel line P and Q. P is parallel to Q. This is also given. Show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CBA. This triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Now, as L is parallel to M, this line L is parallel to M, and P is parallel to Q. As opposite sides. Of this quadrilateral ABCD is parallel, so ABCD will be a parallelogram. Given that L is parallel to M and P is parallel to Q, so which implies ABCD is a parallelogram. So, if ABCD is a parallelogram, then opposite sides will also be equal. So, AB is equal to DC, and BC is equal to and BC is equal to AD. Now, in triangle ABC and triangle. C D A. A B is equal to C D. From equation one, A B is equal to C D. From equation one, B C 
is equal to ad from equation 2 bc is equal to ad from equation 2 and ac is common in both the triangles and ac is equal to ca common in both the triangles so triangle abc is congruent to triangle CDA by side 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 convention. Now, question number six in the given figure AC is equal to AE. This is given. AC is equal to A and AB is equal to AD. This is also given. AB is equal to AD and angle BAD is equal to angle EAC. Angle B A D this angle is equal to angle E A C this angle so that so that BC is equal to D. This BC, BC is equal to We need to show that BC is equal to DE. So BC is the part of the triangle A A <coughs> BC and DE is the part of the triangle A DE. So in triangle in triangle ABC and triangle ADE. AB, this side AB is equal to side A. This side is equal to AB is equal to AD. AB is equal to AD. This is given. And side AC. Side AC is equal to AE. This is also given. Now, triangle uh, in triangle A, B, C, this side, this angle A, B, D is equal. Let this angle be 1, this angle be 2, and this angle be 3. Now, angle 3 is common in both the triangles. We know angle 1 is equal to angle 2. This is given. 
so add angle 3 on both sides add angle 3 on both sides we get angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3 so angle 1 and angle 3 makes an angle of angle a b c is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 makes an angle of angle a or d a e angle d a e so by side angle side triangle a b c is congruent to triangle a d e by side angle side congruence rule and by CPCT side BC is equal to DE by CPCT. As triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts are equal.